Hello everybody and welcome to the Journey Today Show. My name is Timmy Bowties. And I'm Camille. And today we're talking about... Oh, hold that thought. JTS Studio, Mr. Bowties speaking. What? A million dollars? Yes, sir. We'll be right there to claim our prize. We won a million dollars! We won a million dollars! Ah! A million dollars! 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 Thirty minutes later. A million dollars! A million dollars! A million dollars! Wait. A million dollars. Wait a second. How did we get entered to win a million dollars? I don't know. Maybe David signed us up? Besides, why would someone we don't even know call from a restricted number and lie to us about winning a major award? Uh, because he's probably scamming us. And how are we supposed to collect the money anyway? The man said he placed it in the dumpster behind the studio. The dumpster? You mean where we put our garbage? Timmy, this cannot be for real. I mean, who in the world puts a million dollars in a dumpster? Well, maybe the trash company. They're probably the ones giving away the prize. No, Timmy, I don't know what's going on, but this sounds really suspicious. Ah, oh, come on, Camille. Let's just go look in the dumpster to see if it's there. What could possibly go wrong? <sighs> Fine. Yes. But just for the record, I think this is a big waste of time. A million dollars, 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 a million dollars. Uh, Tim, who just closed and locked the door? I don't know. Wait, you don't think it was Ricky, Ricky Raccoon? Raccoon? It's mine! Mine! The JTS Studio is finally mine! Mwah! Come on, Camille, help me look. The money has got to be somewhere in one of these bags. Oh, Timmy, you have to give this up. There's no money in this dumpster. For the last time, we've been scammed. And what's worse, it was by a raccoon. You know, now that I think of it, you might be right. I mean, who puts a million dollars in a giant trash can? I already said that. If you would just listen to me, we wouldn't be in this mess. And by mess, I mean actual mess. Thanks to you, we have to film JTS in a dumpster. Y yeah, yeah, but uh, think, think of the bright side. We don't have to take the trash out anymore. We just throw it on the floor. Really, Timmy? That's the bright side? Yeah, I guess that's not much of a bright side, is it? I, I just can't believe someone would do something that extreme so that they could steal from us. I know, but sadly, it happens sometimes. In fact, that's kind of what happens in today's True Bible story. And what's really surprising is who it was that did the stealing. More surprising than a raccoon? Um. Well, maybe not that surprising. It was David when he became the king of Israel. You mean the same David who fought Goliath? Yeah. You see, one day, King David was on the rooftop of his palace when he saw a beautiful woman named Bathsheba. He wanted her to be his wife, but there was one big problem. Bathsheba was already married. Oh, let me guess. Did David trick her husband into moving into a dumpster? Um, no. But it was actually way worse than that. Her husband, Uriah, was a soldier in the army. So David came up with a plan to get him killed in battle. What? That is way worse. So did the plan work? Well, let's find out by reading the story. Here's how. In just a second, press pause on the video and read the verses on the screen. When you're finished, press play and we'll see you back here. Whoa, I can't believe it. David messed up 
big time. Yeah. It's not like he just told a little fib or yelled at his mom. It was way worse than that. David had Uriah killed and took Bathsheba for himself. Here's something I'm wondering, though. Do you think David ever felt sorry for what he did? Well, that's a good question. Take a look at what David wrote in the book of Psalms right after he did these things. He said, God, have mercy on me according to your faithful love. Because your love is so tender and kind, wipe out my lawless acts. Wash away all the evil things I've done. Make me pure from my sin. Psalm 51, verse 1. Wow. David said that? Yeah. He sounds pretty sorry to me. Me too. But do you think God could possibly wash away a sin that big? Well, that's a great question, and I have the perfect thing to show you the answer. Mm, oh wait, never mind. I think I threw it away. You mean you threw it away in the trash? Yeah. The trash that gets taken out every day and put in the dumpster? Yeah. The dumpster we're sitting in right now? Oh yeah, that's right. It's probably somewhere in here. Well. What does it look like? It's a brown paper lunch bag. Oh, something like this? Yeah, that's it. Oh, or this? Oh wait, now I don't know which one it is. Or this? Or this? Or this? Oh wow, now I'm not sure what bag it's in. I guess I'll just have to look in all of them. Uh, uh, actually, I have another idea. Instead of looking inside the bags, maybe we should just reach our hand inside and feel around. You mean without knowing what's inside? Yeah, that'll be our challenge for the day. We'll keep reaching into the bags until we find what you're looking for. But what if it's something gross? Then you can wash your hands off with the dumpster juice on the floor. Oh, no thanks. I'll pass on the dumpster juice, but okay, I'm up for a challenge. Awesome. I'll go first. Oh! Oh my Is that goodness! A snack pack? What? Who doesn't finish their snack pack? Oh boy! Missed opportunity. Wait, Wait what else it is feels in there? Kind of crunchy. Those are maggots. I know why they didn't finish their snack pack. Okay, your turn. Oh gosh. Okay. All right. Here we go. What is this? Oh boy. What is it? Oh no. Oh no. Okay. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's. What is it? I don't know, but there's band aids in here. Is that ham salad? I take it that's not what you're looking for? Um, this is definitely not it. Yeah. Okay. Quite the illustration. Bye bye. All right. Your turn. Here goes nothing. Get in there, we have to get my thing. Is this it? Uh, oh uh, my good, uh, that's not it, that's not it. Okay, putting this one back yeah. where it belongs. Absolutely. Okay. Ugh. Your turn, take Ooh. it away. Next one. Please find it. Okay, here we go. Oh no. What, what, what? Oh no. <laughs> Is it sick? Is it gross? What is it? What is it? It looks like worms and slime. Ew. Ew. Worms? Was that your illustration? No. Not at all. Okay. Well, this bag has to be it. Okay. Here we go. <gasps> That's it. That's what I'm looking for. Seriously? Dirty old handkerchief? Yeah, but before we get too far, I guess we'll just have to clean our hands with this dumpster juice. <laughs> okay, let me show you something. Imagine that this handkerchief is you. Every time you disobey God, sin leaves a stain on your life. So for example, imagine this stain is a lie you told your mom. And this stain is when you called your brother a bad name. Oh yeah, and this one could be when you cheated at a game or on a test. Yeah, that's right. But look at this one. In our story for today, David made a big time stain. He had Uriah killed and then took Bathsheba for his wife. 
You know, now that I think of it, this handkerchief kind of shows us the mess that sin makes. It's dirty, it's ugly, and worst of all, it separates us from God. Right, but here's the good news. Even the biggest sin is no match for God's forgiveness. Let me show you. Imagine that this water is God's forgiveness. You see, God is merciful, and when we confess our sins and ask him to forgive us, he has the power to wash away our sins as white as snow, no matter how big we think they are. You know what? That reminds me of our Bible verse for today. Even though your sins are bright red, they will be as white as snow. Even though they are deep red, they will be white like wool. Isaiah 1.18 even though David's sin left a huge stain on his life, God was able to make it just like this fabric, white as snow. Yeah, and even though David messed up big time, God was still able to do amazing things through him. In fact, God made an incredible covenant with David. He promised him that Jesus, the future Savior, would come from his family. You know, that makes me think of a question. Do you ever pray to God and ask him for forgiveness? What do you think happens when you do that? Press pause. And discuss. The truth is that we all mess up sometimes. And even though we might not think our sin is as big or bad as David's, all sin is the same. It all displeases God and separates us from Him. That's right. But God is merciful, so we can go to Him for forgiveness. No matter what we've done wrong, no matter how big of a stain sin has left on our life, God's forgiveness can wash it away. So good and so true. And you know what? I think that's the perfect way to end today's episode. As always, thanks for joining us, everybody. Hey, uh, I need to body this, but I think I forgot my half-eaten bologna sandwich in there. Uh, have you seen it anywhere? Oh, um, yeah. I think I remember seeing that somewhere in here. You're welcome to come in and look for it. Ah, thanks. Uh, I'll be right in. Bye, everybody. We'll see you next week. Bye. Oh, we have the studio back. Oh wait, Camille, we forgot the million dollars. Ah.